You guys ready? Tonight. Good morning, Leslie family! We didn't think this was gonna happen! A terrible tragedy put her dreams on hold. Her husband and oldest son died in a car accident. Leaving her completely alone, raising three kids in a very old house that needed a lot of work. What do you think Doug and Merlin would say about us showing up? They sent you here. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Maybe they did. Yeah. This is a really, really sweet woman who's had a major, major loss and I wanted to get it right. Let's do this! The Extreme Makeover design team has just seven days to restore a piece of history and a family's peace of mind. This is taking a house back to its original glory. So we didn't demolish the house, but we did take it down to the studs. Oh! Where's your class on your here comes the rain. I mean, it was bad, and it saturated everything. We're in a truck. One house. It's completely ripping open. Let's bring the family home, because they're going to love this. One week. Now look, I know you guys are, like, really ready to come home, but here's the deal. We're not done yet. One Extreme Makeover, the home edition. It's going to be a long night! crossing the Mississippi River. We're just outside New Orleans, and thanks to the guys at Sears, we're actually able to read some of these far-out places like Plaquemines Parish, which is where we're heading to meet the Leslie family. Now, about a year or so ago, Robin Leslie and her family got some of the worst news imaginable, and they've been struggling with it ever since. Take a look at this tape, and I think you'll see why they need our help. Hi, ABC. Hi, ABC. Hi, ABC. We're the Leslie family. This is Spencer Leslie. Brett and Brandon Leslie, and I'm Robin Leslie. Doug and Robin Leslie grew up in the South, and they loved everything about it. They raised four beautiful kids together, Merlin, Spencer, and the twins, Brent and Brandon. Hi, ABC. Hi, ABC. They ended up buying what they thought would be their dream house, a 130-year-old plantation home right on the banks of the Mississippi. When we purchased this home, we fell in love with the style of the house, which dates back to the 1870s. But all of the interior is decorated from the 1970s. What they wanted to do was basically do a historic renovation and get it back to the look and feel of the 1800s. Now, they didn't have a lot of money, but Doug was very handy, and they were going to work on this project together, doing it on the weekends or whenever they could find time. Then, just over a year ago, a few days before Christmas, Robin got a phone call from the local police. Her husband, Doug, and their oldest son, Merlin, were killed instantly in a car wreck. Leaving her completely alone, raising three kids in a very old house that needed a lot of work. The boys are sleeping in the living room. The carpet's pulled up in places. The ceiling tiles are falling out. It's basically a work in progress that all stopped the day Doug died. Robin is a school counselor. She's got her hands full and barely keeping it all together. I'm not good at asking people for help even when I know I need it. But I cannot physically or emotionally or financially do this on my own. And that's why I'm asking ABC to help me, to help me and my children start over or actually continue to live. Pretty tough, huh? So guys, we can help. We can fulfill Doug and Robin's dream of making this 1870s home something beautiful and historic. At the same time, updating it for a single mom who's raising three kids. Now, I'll be honest with you, man, it's gonna be tough. I mean, this is the oldest house we've ever worked on, but this is a great family who've been through a lot and they really, really need our help. So what do you say, guys? Can we do this? Well, put your hands in here, people. Then let's do it!
You guys ready? Good morning, Leslie family! Robin, Spencer, Brent, and Brandon! Come on out here! Hey guys, good morning! Come on out here! Your extreme makeup is here! Hi there! Oh my god! We didn't think this was gonna happen! We can't believe it! Spencer, how are you, man? Good for you. How are you? How you doing? I don't know. You a little shocked? Mm -hmm. When we saw your tape, man, um, and we know you've you guys have been through a lot, and you got really kind of an old house. A very old house, but I like the oldness. It's just the outdatedness that I don't like. And I know you and Doug had a dream to to refurbish this thing, right? And all that got taken away. We know that, but we're here to help. Can you guys take me in the house and show me where it's broken? Show yeah, me the house on, and where it's broken. Show okay. <laughs> uh, design team, we have a week. Obviously, we've got a lot to do. Come yeah. up with some ideas. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. So it must be tough just wrangling these guys, huh? It is, it is. They're a handful. They each go in their own direction. So all you guys, all you guys sleep with your head, huh? So yeah, it's not only a bed, it's a trampoline. I didn't break it. You have some obviously sweet kids, though, man. They are a handful, though, aren't they? Spencer's the older one. He's six years old. And Brent and Brandon are just coming out of their terrible twos. So they have a lot of energy. I'm coming around the outside, buddy. I'm coming in fast. So you guys have any trails around here? Or do you guys just ride around in circles all day? The three kids were basically sleeping on this one bed in what should have been the dining room. I don't really think that they were able to complete the second floor of the house because Doug passed away before they were done. I know it pretty much ripped the rug right underneath you, man. It's, I still can't believe it sometimes. You know, it's kind of hard to believe that it, it's my, my life, my story, you know, my husband and my son. I just, it's just, it is unbelievable. It's, it's and just. That's more grief than anyone should deal with. I try my best to be strong for them so they could have somewhat of a happy childhood, even through all this craziness and this, this, you know, devastation that I hit that hit our family. Robin really touched me because I think when you try to be a strong woman, you never want to ask for help. You always feel like you can do it yourself. I'm just thankful that we're the ones that get to help her. Doug's dream was to get this house. Um, he had a vision, and there's no way that I could possibly do this alone. There's no way. I mean, it's a really cute house. I love the porch, Preston. It's a nice southern home. Whoa, look at this. California. See, I'm wondering if we're looking at some... Uh, Dry rot? Yeah, underneath. Yeah. You can see where Robin and Doug were going with this remodel. Well, here's where you can tell she had to stop sort of doing what she was doing. It's probably when uh, everything happened with Dad about a year ago. And there's this whole other part of the house that you can tell they hadn't got to yet. And it's a bit in disrepair. Uh, phony wood paneling. All comes down. With phony tin ceiling, all phony. Not her. But do you agree good. with leaving the guts of the house? Absolutely. Yeah. There's no reason to change it. It has a nice feel. It's not often that we run across a home like this. This is a significant home for us. It's got character. It has history. Look at how old it is, and yet it feels big. I, and you have big rooms. And I it know. would feel bigger if it didn't have these claustrophobic ceilings and other things. This woman has taste. She has an appreciation of old. Because I like old things, black and white appeals to me. The kids got to pick their own props out. And so I see Spencer pick the fishing pole. Doug and Merlin both love to fish. Doug used to take the boys over the Mississippi River as right, right the frontage of our property. Spencer is a great kid, and he remembers fishing with his dad. And that's a good memory for him to have. And so I want to preserve that in his bedroom. Well, let's um, definitely help, uh, help mom and the kids keep moving forward. We're in a house that's been in perpetual transition. We need to complete this house for Robin. We're just going to kind of pick up where Doug and Robin left off take their dreams and make them a reality. What do you think Doug would, Doug and Merlin would say about us showing up? They sent you here. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Maybe they did. Yeah. It's a really hard place that Robin is in. And I think she said it perfectly when she said, I don't want to start over. I want to continue. Losing them, the loss, the devastation, you know, the grief, will never go away. But I have to keep going. There's, there's no way I can't. 
You know, I have to keep trying to move forward. I just take one day at a time. Every day is a new day. I get up and that's what I do. I get up and I say, today is going to be a good day. Today is going to be a better day. Today is a good day. We're going to make some differences. I can tell you this, you're a great mom. You really are. They're very lucky kids, man. So, um, so listen, you probably need to gather those guys up and start packing some stuff together because, well, you're going on vacation. So are you guys ready to go on vacation? Yes! So pile in the limo, guys. Let's get you on vacation. We'll see you when you get back. Our approach on this house is going to be that we're doing a renovation. We're not restoring this historical home because that would actually entail us getting original everything. We're doing a renovation for good reasons, practicality and preserving the historic charm. Man, do we have our work cut out. Yeah, we yeah. do. We got seven days. We have to do basically a renovation, but we got to honor the family's history and the history of this house. This is taking a house back to its original glory. We have to leave the exterior shell and then rebuild around it. So we're gonna keep the basic footprint, right? It's historic, so we preserve that outline. We're gonna save what she wanted most. Well, that's the character and the feel of her home. And then we'll just make the upstairs better and we'll probably have to add to it. Okay, Spencer. Spencer. We know what Spencer yeah. likes. Spencer likes fishing. Yeah. Save fishing. fishing. Well, now, what do we want to do for the twins? Let me On take over farm. that room. I'll okay. do that room. This On this farm, you have a project. Yes. These boys love their toys, little tractor toys, little farm toys. So I thought I would do a complete farm room theme in their room. You can tell that the kids, you know, they love jumping around. They love having fun. I mean, these are thrill-seeking kids. We really wanted to give them a backyard that they could have fun in and that was safe. We're going to give them this extreme bike track where they're still in bird's eye view of their mom. Upstairs, we'll let it go off the charts and do our thematic bedrooms. Well, as far as bedroom go, I would like to actually do Robin's bedroom. I'd like to make that my project, if that's cool with you guys. She's a really wonderful lady who seems like a really wonderful mom. And I'm going to try and give her a bedroom that she's always kind of wanted. We had our work cut out for us this week. Sometimes starting from scratch is easier than trying to renovate something. Sometimes you find some surprises. Well, let's, let's get started. Yeah. Make yes. it happen. Let's do this! Just ahead. So, Pennington, what's next? That's next. <laughs> wow. There's an entire Mardi Gras parade. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Welcome to D-Day, demolition. Now, at some point, we need to start ripping off the roof of this thing. Now, here's the deal. Rain's coming, and sometimes it rains eight inches in an hour here. So we came up with this, a gigantic tent that's basically one huge tarp. You can check it out. We've actually draped this thing over the entire house. Hopefully, this will keep the inside of the house dry when we rip the roof off, and it might even keep us dry while we work in this house all week. Let's hope. So, Pennington, what's next? What's next? That's next. Wow. There's an entire Mardi Gras parade. Ty came and told us, all right, you guys, we're going to do this demolition New Orleans style. <laughs> We've got floats coming in, people throwing beads. Oh my God, you show them your tummy and you get more beads. The bigger the tummy, the more beads. I think I got more beads than anyone else. Uh, I know that for a fact. What's happening? How you doing, sir? Meet Pete Vicari. He's hey, a Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Big Easy. Pete Vicari is our contractor. He's a he's a local guy. Is this is how you guys do demo down here. Yes, it is. We've never done a demo quite this. We do everything different. Here. I can see that. Family. Say hello, guys. Yeah. Well, 
now we're about to do something amazing. We're about to start demolition. So meet Pete Vicari. He's going to be our contractor on this one, and I promise you, well, we're going to do a really good job of kind of taking it to the dream that you and Doug always wanted. All right, so take it away, Pete. Guys, y'all all heard the story of the Leslie family with a tough time Rob and her sons are going through. Y'all also know my dad's not with us. I know this story struck a chord with him because he is just gone through the passing of his father only a couple of months ago. He's kind of doing this uh, for his dad and, and it feels like uh, his dad would want him to do this. He's looking over us, our husband's looking over us, the son's looking over us, all of them above looking out for us to the whole of rain off, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are we ready to get this house renovated? Yeah. Demolition uh, was a little different this time because we were we were hand demoing. You know, no uh, excavators coming in to tear this house down. Okay, look up the doors, the walls, it's all being ripped apart. Check out the chaos in here. Wow, it's just complete demolition. That's mommy's closet. Man, I love myself some demolition. Listen, Robin, I know how much you really love this paneling. So I'm gonna help you out with that personally. Oh yeah. Now take a look at your roof. You're gonna love that. These guys are pretty much just ripping the roof off your house. And to make sure we cover ourselves in the rain, we got a gigantic car over your house. Man, I love me some demolition. A little noise going on here. So we're trying to be All I can say is, have fun on vacation. It's just a little crazy here. The kids loved that. They loved that. roof because that's where our addition is going. So we didn't demolish the house, but we did take it down to the studs. So we're not going out, we're going up. And that's why you see all of the, uh, the remaining framing, that's going to stay. Everything above us, that's what's gone. We're missing a ceiling and we're missing a roof, but that's where the bedrooms are going to go. We're going to make downstairs all kind of the living area and upstairs all of the bedrooms. So we're going to add a lot of space to this house by still preserving the outer footprint of this home. I think it's important when you have an old house with character that whenever you do a remodel or you do uh, any kind of innovation, you, you don't want to ever lose the soul of a house. There's no reason to take out these big old timbers. They're actually fine, and you can see at some point after they moved this house from the river to here, they reframed a lot of this stuff. You want to make sure that the harmony and the feel and the history of the home is preserved. Oh, the tarp was a good idea. Keep us sheltered from the rain. It didn't hold up. Unfortunately, it's it's ripping. We're gonna have to get this thing off of here. So now all we need is a big pair of scissors. We took it down. We still thought we had enough time to get a roof on before the rain came. We're ahead of schedule oh, yeah. already. Yes. We just got started. We're ahead of schedule. We're all ahead of schedule. That's um, awesome. Just ahead. We took a little tour of the bayou. What better way to make a little room for Spence? And I hear there's some gators in here. If we're lucky, we'll see a couple, yeah. Oh, it's the real deal. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It is a real deal. Okay. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home. So Spencer loves fishing, but down here, the fishing is more specific to the Mississippi and the bayou and things like that. So I took a little swamp tour to get the feel of what's going on down here. Saw alligators and all the birds you'd ever imagine, and the sounds were great, the moss hanging off the cypress trees. It was everything I thought it would be, so I want to put a little bit of that in Spencer's room, just for a little ambience. It looks so friendly. Oh yeah, she'll come right up to the boat. Smile for the camera. Bye, baby. It was a wonderful tour. I can't bring the frogs and the birds in, but we'll bring as many little swamp things as we can. You good there, Jim? Nice. 
These are beautiful. It's the afternoon of day three, and all of this around me, this is all brand new additions. We've got uh, Spencer's bedroom right here. We've got the twins' bedroom right here. And this is the uh, actually dropping of the plywood for uh, the roof. Roof's going up, and that's a great sign for us because rain's coming. Check this out. This is a backyard. We got a pool and jacuzzi in already. We're gonna have an outdoor kitchen, a playground. Check it out, this is huge. What you see here is the stringer for the staircase. When this staircase is done, all you're gonna see is beautiful liftus wood. What liftus is, is actually second generation eucalyptus. What that means is we cut them down just at the stump and it regrows all by itself. So we're really not losing any trees and we're getting great, beautiful wood for it. This will make a great entrance to this gorgeous house. All right, we got our jobs cut out for us. This family needs a lot. Eight acres worth. Well, we got a lot to choose from. Oh, I like this. This is really nice. Let's take this. This is nice. You like it? I love it. OK, I love we'll take it. Granite looks good outside. Look at this. Oh, cool. Look at this. Big canopy, mosquito proof. You go check the pink clothing, and I'm going to test the shades for a moment. Actually, I think I'm good here with you. Really? So it's time to call the family and tell them exactly what's going on with their house. So hold on, this should be good. I love messing with the family, man. I mean, it's my favorite thing to do. Hey, Robin. Hey, how are you? It's Ty. Hi, Ty. We're just fine. How are you? Hey, we're doing great. We're just building away. How are you doing? We're having a wonderful time. This is absolutely beautiful. Well, good. Hey, you should keep enjoying it. So listen, I wanted to let you know what's going on in the house. OK. Now, the kitchen is incredible. What is that? Sorry about that. This scary traffic is, like, really insane. Oh, OK. Wait till you see this. What's that? She's going to freak out when you see it. Ty, you're not clear. I really think she enjoyed getting all those details and just knowing exactly what's happening with the house. And hearing that noise repeatedly must have been just super enjoyable. All right, we'll see you when you get back. Oh, well, that didn't help at all. Well, that should keep them guessing. This is the stable bed that I'm making for the twin boys. And you can see here, it actually looks like a full little stable. And then across from that, I'm building a barn. So I thought I would do a complete farm room theme in their room. I want them to feel like they're stepping into a cartoon. So you'll see cute little animals, little pig, little horse, little sheep. Aren't these cute? You're getting very sleepy. Little steering wheel. Hong Kong. I just want them to feel like they're kids and they can have fun in that room. We got all of this old, 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 and I mean 300-year-old lumber out of the house, and uh, we want to do something special with it. All this wood came from the barges that used to go up the Mississippi River, and it's really, really old wood. Basically, it's old cypress. Preston and I have decided to go ahead and turn that into a dining room table. We want to make sure we tighten all this up so we have a real nice joint. Making something new out of this old barge board kind of just pays tribute to the past and let's give her something great and something new that preserve the past as well. So Preston, what's that? Oh, it's some reproduction kind of gas lanterns they turn into outdoor lighting. So this is really kind of a cool project for Preston. He loves the fact that this is the oldest house we've ever had to renovate. Styled after like 1830s, 1850s gas lanterns. Sweet. Our pre-finished floor is like this. It's got the old nail holes and weathering look to it. Great solid wood doors. Oh, I ordered oversized doors just because it looks better and old. Appropriate hardware, too. We used old molding treatments. We used chair rails and anaglypta paper. Lots of the charm of the South has gone into our renovation. We're doing this for Robin and her wish. You peel back the painted layer, and look at that underneath there. I mean, just these cool, rare old wallpapers. This barge board that we salvaged from the house had all of this great history on it through wallpaper. If this house was built back in the 1800s, it's like just peeling back pages of history. I'd like to save it for Robin because, you know, this is her house and her dream, and I think it'd be cool for her to know what was behind her walls. Here comes the rain. It was 
we got here, we realized that we were in for some challenging weather. We got hit with this one huge rainstorm. I mean, it was bad, and it saturated everything. Everything you do in the rain, in the mud, takes 10 times as long. Hell of a day to be roofing. What we try and do is impossible, even in good weather conditions. You throw in that kind of torrential rain, then you're dealing with an impossible situation. The rain had really taken its toll on everyone. A lot needed to be done. This is the road that we've actually been bringing trucks in and all our supplies. But as you can see, this guy's, oh, even he's kind of stuck. Pretty much a nightmare. Oh, jeez. Here's another one of the problems. Sinkholes. Really deep sinkholes. It created an impossible work environment, to be honest with you. So this is where the family's going to walk into their house. But right now, as you can see, the staircase, well, isn't so grand. Here's what's got to happen. But we need to get woodworking. We need to get crown molding. We need to get chair rail. As you can see, we've got seams up here. Still got to get some mud on that. The kitchen and great room are still pretty much a mess. Our island still has to be put together. All set for the sink. Oven. No oven. That's a drag. Today is such a key day. I mean, if we can't finish this today, we're in trouble. We can't finish this today, we're in trouble. And if we can't finish that today, we're in trouble. So we've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. So we all figured we could chip in a little. I know Paige was doing some drywalling, and I even saw Polly laying flooring. You know, I've got projects, but this is the most important project, is to get this house done. So we're doing whatever we can. Everyone's got to pitch in and help. Just ahead. Let's bring the family home, because they're going to love this. I really didn't think we would finish. Let's go, people. we got two and a half hours till midnight. Ah! That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. If you or someone you know deserves a home makeover, go to abc.com keyword home makeover to apply to be on the show. The tough gets going. You know the end of this one, huh? The tough get going. Sorry, team! Let's get all this! Let's get that inside the house! People, let's take advantage of the sunshine! Put that in there! Come out for a second round! Let's make it happen, Polly! We're burning daylight! Okay, I'm pretty much locking myself in here until this thing gets done. Good time. We didn't want to leave the axe out of extreme, so we brought in, well, the legend, Matt Hoffman. Matt Hoffman from the X Games, this guy is basically a gold medalist in BMX bicycle riding. The guy's like won every X Games they've ever had. So he's actually building this family a mini ramp so that the kids can actually have a blast. This is great that you're here, man. Uh, I appreciate so it. Psyched. It's such an honor, you know, just to give whenever someone needs like they do. The kids are gonna freak out. I know I would. He knows what we do for people and he wanted to get involved. Thanks for being here, and the fact that you're willing to pitch in is like totally awesome. And him and his buds actually picked up, you know, tool belts and actually helped us with lots of other projects. Work with that. Fix that, Matt. Thank you, buddy. I mean, he was doing everything. Come on, Matt. You got more than that, don't you? That's what I call a stand-up dude. Matt, let's step it up a notch, my friend. We don't have all day. Let's move it, people. Matt, kick it in the gear. This is really, really crazy. I mean, we got so much going on. We literally have every person we could grab, everybody we can call. We did everything we could to get everybody out there, and it's just wild right now. We got a chain gang going so we can move as fast as we can. All of the landscape needed to be done, and that was a ton of work. We got to get the sod over to the other side. I, I don't know how the inside of the house is looking at all, but um, I'm going to have this finished out here. We're almost down in the backyard. Let's bring the family home because they're going to love this. Obviously, well, we've run into a little bit of a snag. It's called unfinished. 
the rain really set us back. I mean, today's the day we're supposed to be bringing home the family, but uh, I just don't know when we're gonna be able to show it to them. Like this little action right here, probably need to work on that. We had our work cut out for us this week. Sometimes starting from scratch is easier than trying to restore something or renovate something and, and try to preserve the history and the memories. Hello? Hey, Robin. Hey, it's Ty. Hi. Now look, I know you guys are like really ready to come home, but well, we're not done yet. But I promise you, we're gonna finish. I had the family standing by in the afternoon at a hotel thinking, okay, we might be able to pull this thing off. Can you guys just hang out for a little bit? Okay. I mean, go to the pool. You know, go swimming. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're coming home tonight. I'm gonna call you and you guys can come home, okay? Great, we're waiting for your call. I'll talk to you soon. Guess what? They're not finished. Can't complain. Have one more night in the hotel. Woo! All right, people! Let's wrap this thing up! But I remember uh, looking up the clock and seeing 10 p.m. and realizing, oh my God, okay, so basically, it's not two hours till the family comes home, but it's two hours till midnight, which is te technically the end of our seven days, the end of our week. Let's go, people! We got two and a half hours till midnight! It's gonna be a long night! But everything's lit and working. Midnight was our cutoff. Ah! 120 minutes till midnight! Paige! So how many hours in a day? 24. How many days have we been working? Seven. How many hours do we have left before technically that day is over? Two. Correct! I really didn't think we would finish. Are we at lunch at quarters? No! Let's finish the crown molding! Let's load in the furniture! Two hours! Two hours! It's lights out, people! It's midnight on day seven. I can't believe it, but we're actually finished. We just finished by the nick of time. Now, we brought other families home at midnight. Now, the thing is, is we got the two little twins that are three years old. We got Spencer, who's six, six years old. I don't want him to run in the, the fishing room, in the bayou room, and fall asleep in the bed first thing. It's like Christmas morning for them. Let's, let's wait until the morning and, and do it then. Let them get some rest, and maybe we could all just get like a little cat nap. Just ahead. All these special people did that for us. There's still good left in this life for me and my kids. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. We didn't want to bring the kids home all tired at midnight. That's when kids should be in bed. So Ty decided, hey, let's bring them home in the morning. That made good sense. When we pulled up, it was so, all those people, it just touched me. Welcome home, Leslie family! <laughs> Spencer, Brent, Brandon! I think the whole neighborhood showed up. I wasn't ready. I was numb, not knowing if they would respect my wishes to be able to not move on, but just continue on this journey. There's no other place I'd want to raise my kids. This is the only home they know. It was just beyond Dog and Merlin's dreams of our house. Doug would be happy. I could feel him. He is so smiling right now. All these special people did that for us. There's still good left in this life for me and my kids. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. And here is your design team. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It is so awesome. It's beautiful. There's so much to show you, but mainly the main theme was to preserve the traditions of the past, the, the southern style of the house you wanted. We also wanted to make it a safe and comfortable house for a mom like you raising basically three kids like this. So who's ready to see the inside of the house? Yeah. Okay, are you ready? Yeah! Well, go on in! Oh, yeah, baby. Hello. Hello. Oh, God. Like it's so pretty. Yelling. It's beautiful. I 
was speechless. I was just, it was just beyond my wildest dream. This is your house. This is your 1872 plantation house that has been updated with all the modern comforts of this century, which is kind of nice. You've got a part on the left, which would be great for the mom, a part on the right, which is cool for kids, and of course, a really amazing dramatic staircase. They took everything into consideration. They brought so much of my home into the new home. This is made out of the barge board that actually came off your house. Now, they milled it down, they sanded it down, they planed it down. It'll be a great place for this family to gather around. A lot of history behind that wood, and it's really cool. Basically what this wood is is 300-year-old heart of pine. So it's thick, wow. it's solid. Robin loves history. She bought this house because she wanted to preserve a time in history. Now this is pretty cool. That's wallpaper that we pulled off your old house. It came off the boards that we pulled off. Now that's like hundreds of years of different wallpaper. This is your old tongue groove flooring off your front porch. It's just crazy. I just could not believe that they actually did that. What do you think Doug would think of this? Oh, he would love it. One of the coolest moments I felt was when Ty let her know that she received a scholarship to complete her doctorate. So here's something I think you're gonna find pretty cool. You're a counselor, and I know you, you always want to go back and get your doctorate, so I call these guys at the University of New Orleans, and they've given you basically a four-year scholarship, so you can finally open your own business, and you, you can help kids. It opened this door in her eyes and her mind that she hadn't even thought about. I'm going back to school. <laughs> Put a pretty big smile on her face, man. It was an awesome thing to see. Oh, God, this is home. You know, this is, uh, it's going to be okay. <laughs> How about the boys? Talk about balls of energy. It was tough. The kids flew off in four different directions. It just shows you when the kids like ran like that, want to see the big surprise. It's like Christmas. It's like trying to tell them they can't open a present on Christmas Eve. Check out your new bedroom. <gasps> Spencer, look at this bedroom. Spencer was blown away. The fact that he could walk up a dock to get into his bed. Oh, look at that! It's a big fishing horse. Gets you some rope over there, and of course, we got you an aquarium. Can you take me out fishing in this thing? Looks like there's a big one out deep there. Oh yeah. Oh wow, look at that one. Spencer is a great kid, and much like myself, I think he's hooked on fishing. I love my room. And look, you don't have to share it with your brothers. Man, you know, I think I'm getting seasick. I need to step off in the dock for a second. Wow. This is I. Can somebody let me out? Somebody let me out? Oh, there you go. Thank you. You know what that is? A rooster. No, you know what a rooster does, don't you? this room. But that's what it's all about. <laughs> Making little guys happy. Yeah. Just ahead. Go, 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 take it out. The eyes just opened up and was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. That's next on Extreme Makeover. Oh I'm not good at asking people for help, even when I know I need it. Good morning, <laughs> Wesley <laughs> family. All right. Brand new dishwasher, brand new sink. All of your old house is right here in this. This is a fun kids are on. It's beautiful. Doug would be so happy. You've been through some tough times. It's obvious that you don't ever really get a chance to have a place where you could just unwind for a minute. We're standing outside your bedroom. I made it my project because I wanted to make sure I got it right. Do me a favor, go check out your bedroom and tell me what you think. Robin is someone who helps out everybody else but has never really asked for any help from anyone.
it scares me, you know, to open up and, and let loose and let go because I'm afraid of what it'll bring. Good memories, bad memories, just memories. I just can't believe that there are so many good people out there that's willing to help a total stranger. Hey. Is this all for me? This is all you, man. Oh, God. I'm blown away. God, it's beautiful. Every morning when I get up, that's the first thing I do. I look at pictures. It not only kept the memory there, but it just brought it out even more. I just hope that um, it gives you a few months of just a little bit of peace from the day in and day out grind. I'm ready to, to start making new memories, you know. And I, and I think uh, they'll all be good ones. Are you ready to see your backyard? I just opened up and was like, oh my gosh. Check this out. You see what that is? It's an extreme bike track. Yeah. Guys, those right there are bicycles and leather jackets that Matt Hoffman gave to you. Hi. I'll bring up with bikes and leather backyard. I think Eduardo is my new hero. He took Swampland and made it into a gorgeous backyard. I'm just so glad we can help her out and let that dream live that her and Doug always wanted. Come on, Brandon! I got it. They're the reason I get up every morning. They're the reason I keep going. And this is going to mean so much to them. All of the people that did this were volunteers. The people that don't do it for a thank you. Just do it because they're good people. Welcome home, Leslie family. Welcome home. To find out more about the products used in tonight's show, go to abc.com, keyword home makeover. Air transportation provided by Southwest Airlines. Is this thing finished? Time to be tested. Let's test it! Yeah. Do you, Ty? Tomorrow on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. How'd they do that? Thanks for coming to Louisiana. See how the design team restored the Leslie's dreams. From downtown New Orleans, crossing the Mississippi, and into Ty's secret room. I keep this from a secret. The stories you didn't see. Oh, this is unbelievable. Tomorrow night at 8, 7 central. Oh.